man, I got around. OG7 back here. Today I'm going to share with you some stories of victory. V for victory. And G for glory. Hey guys, wanted to share with you, man. I'm looking to be more proactive on my Patreon channel because I really appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate the fact that we're forming relationships as men and we're talking about starting businesses and going to school and taking over corporate America and progressing our careers and then also sharing my journey, which I'm looking to inspire you guys to be the best version of yourself because this was me. As a younger dude, man, when I used to look at older dudes, I used to be like, oh, man, this old dude can do it. I never thought to myself, like, oh, well, he's got more experience than me or he's lived longer than me or he's got, you know, more time. Done. I never cared about that. I'm thinking, man, this dude is an old fart. And if he can do it, I know I can do it. And so I know we're all different, bro, but I'm hoping to um, project that type of uh, mentality to you guys. Like, if I can do this stuff at 61, dude, Martial arts, movies, fight scenes, movie stunts, dude going to acting school, doing martial arts four and five times a day, running and working out, dude, doing yoga, salsa dancing, dude, and studying acting and stuff, bro, and doing commercials and auditions. If I can do this at 61, I want you to be honest with yourself and take a really good look at the people in your life who are 60, dude. In your life that you know, whether it's family members, dude, co-workers, neighbors, people you see in stores, just whatever, bro. Most of them are not living like me because, dude, I live each day as if it were my last age is a number. And I look to get the best bang out of every day. So the reason I'm sharing that with you here at Patreon some of you guys are making comments about my Las Vegas bouncing videos, man, saying, that, hey, man, you know, why are you posting this and why are you posting that, man? Over at Patreon, dude, I'm wanting you guys to open up your mind and your concepts and your brain to get downloaded with the awesomeness of the experience, experientialism of how I view life, how I perceive life, dude. Everything is a learning opportunity. Everything is a teachable moment. So I put those Las Vegas bouncing movies up because, dude, I was the head bouncer at this club. And they had me outside because I'll be honest with you, dude. I didn't want to be a bouncer. Dude offered me the job, 200 a day cash. And um, he was helping me to get my chauffeur license and my bodyguard license because I could do it under his umbrella. Even though I had serious felonies, dude. He's helping me to work on that and get that. And he was a big time club promoter. And he was looking to really get involved with some entertainers and stuff, man. So I was just looking to, you know, do that until my martial arts and acting took off, dude. So when I first moved to Vegas, I needed a job because I quit doing IT. And so uh, I was as the head bouncer, I chose to be outside. I didn't want to be inside. The music was too loud. Like you can hear in these videos, the music's even loud outside. But inside, it was even more loud and it was crowded. You know, a bunch of dudes drinking and on drugs. And then there was a hookah club. So dudes was in there smoking. And then they in the back smoking weed. And it was just packed, dude. And you had to patrol the place. So I told them, hey, bouncer, I'll be out front and I'll check people's IDs, dude. And, and pat them down and make sure they don't have weapons and whatever. And, and, and control the parking. So I share these videos with you because... I was trying to capture Vegas nightlife. Like, it was on the strip, dude. It was on the, it was on the strip downtown Vegas. Um, I forget the name of the street it was on. I can look it up for you if it's that important. But they had clubs all up and down the street, restaurants, activity, you know what I'm saying? And people and tourists were just walking by the town. So I was looking to capture it without being overtly obvious, right? So I was just... Look at the videos as you viewing life through my eyes and you're seeing my journey through Vegas, man, getting to my destination, these movies, which I'm going to share with you guys over here on my Patreon. I'm not bragging. I'm not blowing myself up. None of that. I'm telling you, by the end of this year, before the end of this year, dude, you guys are going to be surprised with what I've been doing with my martial arts and acting and movie stuff. Hey, the reason I yawn a lot, guys, is because I'm all, I work out like at least four times every day, at least sometimes five times, dude. 
then I'm going to acting school, which the thing about acting school, you got to read these things called scripts, bro. You got to read these scripts and you got to memorize them, bro. And dude, sometimes it takes me 250 reads to memorize this stuff, bro. So then I got to stay up late, bro. Then I got to get up at four to go run to the gym and to do the Pilates and plyometrics and all this stuff, man, and kickboxing and all this stuff, dude. And then I'm sore as frick and I can't take pain medication because my, my 30 years of competitive judo, I was popping Motrin and acetaminophen instead of metaphysin like it was candy and I fried my liver, bro. So anyway, man, I just want you guys to have insight and, and be be more compassionate and open, dude. And, and I want you to, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get this PDF out up here for you. But if I can't Google it, it's called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And I try to encourage you guys on Patreon to read. Because reading is food for the mind, is nutrition for the mind, like food is nutrition for the body. It far surpasses watching videos, listening to audio books, all of that, dude, in my opinion. And I encourage you guys to read it. The book is called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and it talks about first seeking to understand, then to be understood. I want you guys to enjoy this journey with me. I moved to a brand new state, a brand new city, never been here in my life, didn't know anybody, dude. And I pulled myself from the, up from the bootstraps, and I'm still ascending because every day I'm focused. And I'm just sharing with you guys what my life was like, dude. I was running at 4 in the morning, working out, <coughs> doing acting school, martial arts. This is before I found acting. Uh, and then I'd have to go bounce, dude. And bouncing in Vegas is different from bouncing in California. Bouncing in California, at 1 o'clock they have last call for alcohol. That gives you an hour to herd up the people, get them to drink their alcohol, have them out by 2. Vegas is a 24-hour city, bro. So most days, I would get off in Vegas between uh, 4 and 5 in the morning. So I just figured I'd stay up and go run and then go do some yoga and Pilates and kickbox and all that. Then I would take a nap. Then I would get up and do my Kung Fu and Wing Chun and, and Scream and all that karate and all that stuff. And then I would take another nap. And then I would go to acting school. But just so you know, dude, taking two naps a day of like maybe two hours a piece does not equate to eight hours of straight sleep. So I was fucking fried, bro. And I'm still having an aftermath now, even though I got scarring. I had a physical. I have scarring in my in my lungs from the, when I caught the COVID, dude. So I'm still not um, at 100%. I'm about 60%. So when you got... Over at YouTube, you still got young dudes telling me, oh, Giselbeck's fat, he got bitch this, he's soft, he's a bitch, he's a faggot, he's gay, all this stuff, bro. I ain't tripping because each and every day, I get better and better in every way. And I'm better today than I was yesterday. And I'm going to be better tomorrow than I am today. And I wanted to share that philosophy with you. So open you guys, open your minds up to these bouncer videos and just kind of look at what I'm doing, like my cinematography, I'm looking on the street to show you some really high quality <laughs> young ladies man anyway um i just had to make a video i'm gonna start making videos to prep you guys at patreon for why i did it because i think if you understand why i'm doing it you can have a greater appreciation as opposed to just you know writing comments like hey man why are you posting this man i ain't learned a fucking thing from it so come on man let's man up let's champion up man let's get this money and have a really good life <laughs>